welcome to my channel Blink Shop. I am Priyanka, your crafty host, and we are here with another adult coloring page. Um, and uh, I'm not going to mention again and again, but again, I'll mention it uh, that it's done by my mom. But before we get into what drawing we are going to look at or what adult coloring page we are going to look at, I wanted to uh, do a um, like a update on the swatch chart. Uh, I mentioned in my not in the previous video but the video before that that uh, i'm going to add the rating star here so i have added the rating star right here let me just so it's right here if you guys can see i've added the five star rating so you can uh, rate the colored pencil according to how you like and uh, you know which one will it'll, it'll give you an easier glimpse if you are flipping through your swatch charts which one are, which ones are your favorite and which one um, it was easier for you to you know work with which one was not so it kind of gives you an overall idea about which was good and which was not since I know a lot of us have a lot of colored pencils so it sometimes becomes hard to remember how every colored pencil worked worked for us so yeah so that's why I added the rating which I was mentioning from a couple of videos so I finally got the chance and the digital is already on my Etsy store and I will have the link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing it. So that uh, adds up to the swatch chart uh, update. Now let's go ahead and see the colored pencils we are going to use for the new coloring page. So for this one I'm using the American Craft Artist colored pencils. So here is the box for it. It was 48 pieces. They were not pre-sharpened. So our, and it doesn't have any name. Like it just says American Crafts on the back right here. Gives like a swatch chart like color palette. Not a swatch chart but like a color palette for the pencils. These colored pencils did not have a name or a number. So I numbered them myself. Um, I organized them according to the color wheel and then I numbered them myself. So they don't have any specific specific name. It just says artist colored pencils and in two different languages. And they are 48 pieces. I found them at Ross for $7.99. So yeah, that's about it. I think they are available on Amazon. And if they are, I will link, leave the link in the description for you guys to check out if you are interested. And yeah, one more thing. If you have used this colored pencils, please let me know in the comment section below. How you like these, uh, how you liked using these ones. So yeah, so here is the swatch chart. I have given the numbers, like I said, um, the way I, or I ordered my color, I put the colors in the order and then I numbered them. So for now, I have these colored pencils in these trays from another colored pencil box that I had just saved. So it makes it easier when I want to uh, uh, like you know make the colored lay down the colored pencil in order this gives me an extra tray to put the extra colored pencils and empty that once from the box itself so this is the first tray starts with the white and goes on and let me pull out one colored pencil right here so it's just a plain black barrel colored pencil here is the lead or yeah the core and um, they don't have anything the this one one thing I found out is that the dipped end and the core color are different so you have to actually swatch it out to see what exactly the color is and on the pencil itself they don't have anything except the name in silver which says American crafts nothing else so yeah but and then I have numbered it right here with a sharpie so this is how the pencil looks like it's black barrel but I think they worked pretty well uh, compared to the one we talked about last time uh, the Faber Castell uh, triangular colored pencil these worked really well uh, I was impressed with the pigments and everything um, it was not uh, very difficult for me to color with them so yeah here is the swatch chart all completed and again, in this swatch chart, there are 96 swatches you can make. So 48, one page is good enough for me. So I did it. I... So here on the top, I haven't done the rating yet. But there are a lot of um, 
things that I'm leaning towards a three star rating, but I cannot give it a, a perfect rating till I have done the coloring, like the whole page, colored with the whole page, colored the whole page with these colored pencils. There are a few factors that I am leaning towards uh, the three star. Although the pigment is good, it, um, it does well and it's easier to color with. There are a few things that is um, that is um, a little bit that brings the rating down. First of all, there's no like number or name of the colors on the pencils itself. Nothing came on the box either. They have just done these uh, color palette swatches, but there's no number, name, nothing on it. Also, the color shades are like so close by. It's really hard to pay hard to make out the difference there is a difference but it's really really you have to subtle and you have to pay a lot of attention like if you can see the 9 and 10 here they kind of look the same even the 11 and 12 look the same 13 14 look the same 13 and 14 look the same here if you can see and let me pull out I don't know if you can see the 9 and 10 but I can make it upside down and show you the 9 and 10 looks the same. Even the orange is kind of almost similar. You know, it's it's not really picking up the... You can't really pick up the difference if you are not used to the colors, used to coloring with a lot of color, like really close shaded colored pencils. Even like here in the browns or the ochres that we are looking at, it's kind of the it's kind of same like these two almost look similar these two almost look similar and even the gray is if you can see there these two are like almost similar so it's it's really very close first of all it's a very small set it's only 48 colors it's not like a 120 or a 180 colored not even 72 color pencil set that the shade variations can be minute these are just 48 colored pencils and the shade variation is so close by it's harder to um, make uh, it make a lot of layering with it or you know color different to you know if you color one with this um, pink and then one with this pink you will not see the difference much or there will be no shading so that's the reason why I kind of am leaning towards a three star but once I color the whole page, I might be able to uh, decide on whether it's going to be a three star or less or more. You know, you never know because coloring the swatch is one thing. It might not uh, look as if the pigment, it might look as if the pigments are good, but coloring a whole page is a different thing. So, yeah, I'm I'm hoping and I'm praying that these colors work because I do like the colors it's not that i don't they have a lot of flaws but every every colored pen no colored pencil can be perfect right so uh, i am hoping that they are good and the way i've swatched the pigments seem uh, seemed good so hope those pigments come out on the actual coloring page so lot of talk about the colored pencil now let's see what new colored coloring page that i have uh, and what we are going to work on this uh, video so this is a cardinal that my mom made and uh, i have this available on my etsy store and i hope the whole of the painting can be seen if not i can just move it and make it sleep so you can see the whole thing so yeah this picture is also available for digital download on my etsy store and I will have the link in the description uh, for you guys to check out if you're interested in purchasing this uh, coloring page. So yeah, once I am, I will color a little bit and uh, if I have any updates, if it goes against what I have already swatched with the pigments and everything, I will come jump in between and show, um, talk about it. If everything goes well according to what I am thinking of and the pigment seems to do well, uh, I'm not expecting them to do good wells like prismas or uh, luminance or something like that but if they go well and do enough to you know work well as a budget friendly pencil I I will just show you the completed pencil a uh, completed page so yeah that's about it guys one more time the link is in the description for the bird and the swatch chart 
for off my Etsy store uh, for you guys if you're interested in purchasing them. Yeah, so I'll be back once I am done with this coloring this. Alright guys, so here is the cardinal coloring page that I completed. Uh, did not do much on the background like up here. I wanted to give a focus on the cardinal itself. And that's why I did not give uh, much emphasis to the background on the top. Did a little bit of detailing down here. Like gave it leaves uh, all over and then colored the rest of the area in and did a little bit of shading. Again, I always like coloring the edges of my pages because it gives it a finished look. There's nothing uh, blank or nothing white remaining. Uh, it just makes the whole picture come together. It looks like a frame basically. So that's the reason why I all most of the times I do the background, it uh, do the borders. Okay, it's not usually. Um, necessary and it's not usually different but I try to do something on the background to give it a finished look so this is how it came out uh, the colored pencils let's talk about the colored pencils we were working with the American craft artist colored pencil a set, set of 48 and uh, like I mentioned earlier a lot of colors were similar uh, like really close by the shades you could hardly like make out if you're really watching on the video it would hardly make a very, very, very less. It's like the shade difference is very less. So it it was hard, but the colors worked better than the last one, the Faber Castle Triangular Color Pencil. Uh, colored pencils, it, this one worked better and um, they had much more pigment. It was... Um, it did a it did a pretty decent job. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm leaning towards still leaning towards three and a half, three three and a half star, not giving it a four, and not going down all the way to um, like two and a half. You know, maybe right around three. I think three star is something that I would give. I would definitely use them again um, for my coloring pages because they. They are decent, like for for a budget friendly pencil for eight dollars. I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, I uh, for the money that I paid, they did an amazing job. It is a little hard to blend, but it it's not really that difficult. It's a good beginner friendly pencil. If you are new and you want to try out if this hobby is for you or not, I. I would recommend this colored pencil because it's easier and um, it's inexpensive. It's not that uh, expensive, you know. Uh, it's a very budget friendly pencil and it helped. It helps. It's It will help you boost your confidence uh, in coloring because it has a good amount of pigment and you're not working too hard to, um, you know, put the color onto the page. So yeah, uh, that's about it. Talked a, talked a little bit about the coloring page and the color colored pencils itself. So again, uh, one more time, the coloring page uh, is available on my Etsy store and the link will be in the description. And similarly, the swatch chart updated with the ratings now. Rating star now is available on my Etsy store and the link again will be in the description for you guys to check out. So yeah, that's about it guys. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Consider subscribing if you want to um, watch such similar videos. I know I'm not doing a lot of colored pencil tutorials, but um, I am just giving like a basic review and showing you new colored uh, coloring pages available uh, for you guys to try out. Uh, not doing anything um, much with the coloring itself and if you are if you want to learn some technique or something that you would like to um, see me color uh, please uh, leave me a comment below and I will definitely try my best to uh, do a short video on that uh, I'm it gets really hard for me to film like coloring the whole page uh, because I have a lot of things going on and at the time I'm not even sitting like consistently for you know 10 minutes I am always like if I'm doing one thing there's something else going on and it's hard for me to record in that uh, circumstances so that's the reason why I just color it up and put it out like it's done you know and then give a short review on the colored pencils so yeah um, that's about it I think I stretched out a lot after it but please do consider subscribing don't forget to share this video with your friends and family 
and uh, I really, really appreciate you all watching my video. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.